Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here on Paseo Montejo and I'm gonna be taking you down the new bike lanes that we have uh, built out here. Well, not we, I didn't personally build any of these, but um, the government, the local government here has built. So we are starting off, you know, where um, the beginning of Paseo Montejo starts, which is, uh, floral, you know, right there on 47th, all right? And I'm um, showing them the map real quick. But anyways, right there on 47th is where we you know we started, and we're taking this north. All right, we're gonna go north. So for some of you guys that have been watching, you guys have been you know familiar with this area. Look, you see the bike. Uh, you see all the bikes on the side that were parked. We just passed by them. Um, but anyways, they've added okay these green lanes. They've added these uh, you know these green uh, barriers here on the side. You know these flowery things that look really beautiful and nice they've added these walkways you know for wheelchairs and wheelchair accessibility accessibility that are the the things to park your bike on the right um they added parking okay so there's parking right there to my to my immediate left here um as you guys can see so you know basically the whole um street has turned um from a four lane highway into a two lane highway with parking and a bike lane and that's where we're at here. But, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, a lot of you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, back when I used to live in this area and things like that. You guys have seen me um, basically um, walk up and down this area. And you guys have, you know, again, you guys can go back to those videos and you can see what this area used to look like before that. In fact, um, it was very, in a sense, almost pretty dangerous, you know, for me to drive um, through um, Paseo Montejo on my bike for the most part, oh cool, all right, I like the little ramp here. But anyways, for the most part, it was pretty, you know, um, a pain in the ass, you know, in order for me uh, to drive on Paseo Montejo on my bicycle because there was so much traffic and heavy traffic. And so basically, it was like riding your bicycle on a four lane highway. But now there's an actual dedicated bike lane. Um, there's actual dedicated parking, you know, right here to the side. And then, um, you know, you get these little green barriers, which again, they act like little islands. And anyone that knows anything, you know, this is great. This is perfect because this allows, uh, you know, for cars not to get in the way, you know, for, you know, the cars that are trying to make a left or a right or whatever, you know what I mean? Just uh, this helps with the traffic management a lot. Trust me. I don't know. I'm, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't understand all these things, but I get this. And I'm, I'm actually, this is the first time that I come down this path. I've, I've already seen, um, I've already come down up and down Paseo Montejo a bunch of times as this has been done. Um, and finished, but it is the first time that I actually ride on it. Um, this is a Friday afternoon here, and uh, wow, this is this bike lane is actually pretty pretty awesome. Wow, okay, I like it a lot. You know, the true test is when we start getting to the the circles. Uh, what do you call it? The I forgot what those areas are called. Um, the roundabouts. You know, once we get to those roundabouts, that's a true test. I want to see how I can get from point A to point B on the roundabout and um, all that, and then the, the area by Walmart, you know, all those areas are very heavily trafficked. So, I mean, so far, so good. It looks pretty awesome. Um, the only kind of thing I see that might be a pain uh, in the butt would be the, the part of, um, let's say that you have, uh, oh, oh, never mind. Oh, I see what these are. I see what these platforms are, never mind. So I was gonna say, it's like if you're on a bus or if you're in a taxi or in an Uber, how are you? Okay, so they got one and two. They got two, they got, okay, so I'm just gonna keep going on here because I have the right of way at the moment. See, they've added cameras, more added security. Um, so yeah, this it seems pretty legit, pretty legit. Because, okay, on the next one, we're gonna go around. So we're gonna take this back the other way, okay? So um, we're gonna take both routes. So right there at the roundabout, there was two routes for me. One route for me to go straight as you saw there, if I have the right of way, or if I don't have the right of way, I can go around and take the other little route there. Nice, they thought of everything. The only thing, okay, so you see right here in the cones, it's kind of closed off. The only thing I kind of don't understand is there's some areas, especially right in front of the bank, that are closed. So the, what I was thinking is that instead of having, you know, areas like, you know, just like this, you're gonna see right now up ahead, okay? Because right up ahead, there's a bank. And um, the bank is on the right. Anyways, you're going to see with the cone situation. 
all right? You're gonna see the cone situation here. And so there's no parking. You see, there's no parking in the in this area that's supposed to be for parking. In fact, they put cones there so you don't park. I don't understand this. You know, why not just put some flowery beds here? You know, why, I mean, that to me, I don't like. So they gotta figure a solution to that. Either A, let the people park there. I don't know why they wouldn't be allowed to park there. I know it's a bank, but again, they should be allowed to park there. I don't understand that. Um, so, yeah, either or fill it in, you know what I mean? But I don't like these lines. This is a waste of space. Either A, make it a lane, or B, you know, make it like uh, those flowery beds, or, 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 or C, you know, open up to parking. So that's something they need to fix. But that's okay. I think, you know, all in all, pretty done. Pretty, pretty well done. Pretty well done. Now let's see how this is gonna stand the test of time. I think this has only been here for a short amount of time. Um, I think this is already, this just got inaugurated. This just got finished not too long ago. Not too long ago. Like I would, I wanna say a few, few weeks maybe, a month tops. Okay, so here we are. We're at the whole uh, Pasel Montejo area. So it has a red light there and green. So, Let's see what we're gonna do here. I wanna cross. But there's traffic. See, they see the traffic that's kinda of like going this way. So, all right, I'm, I'm gonna bolt it, I got it. So, so yeah, so this is the walkway on the right. We got the bike lane, where, which I'm, I'm on now. And there's other routes going around. Then we got the little timer. All right, we got, we got cameras everywhere. Everything's all looking nice and, and world class, you know. So they're starting to look like a like a first world city. Oh my goodness! I'm a them apples, huh? And this is again, this is we're in Paseo Montejo, and uh, we started at the edge of its center, basically where the central ends in the northern area. Um, right to my right is the Walmart that I've gone to a million times, and when you guys come out here, you usually go to this Walmart, and sometimes you'll catch me at this Walmart. Not today. <laughs> but but sometimes you know what I mean if you ever want to see a wild Jose sighting um, I suggest you come to this Walmart you'll find me here from time to time um, when I need to get some things from Walmart yeah basically all Walmarts are the same you know that one just happens to be you know what I mean the closest to my house and uh, you know they're all the same outside of one that's all the way up north but this one's getting expanded and getting better so you know I'm enjoying it so yeah, I mean, you know, this is the, the bike lane. Now, I, the, now these bike lanes are extended throughout the whole city, okay? Um, they've been making bike lanes throughout the whole city, all over the place, in, in bad neighborhoods, in very, very good neighborhoods, in random neighborhoods. Um, they're just trying to connect the city with a bunch of bike lanes. And um, I don't know if they're doing it because the economy is so bad and that most people, there's gonna be more people on bikes than on cars. That was a bad joke, I know. But you never know, that, that could be a reason. Or, um, you know, basically, yeah, they're expecting this city to be very green. I mean, the, this city happens to be the greenest city as far as I know, all right? So look, we're at the monument, all right? You guys have seen that monument many times. So we're just gonna go around the roundabout. I'm not gonna go any further north, all right? I think that's it. So, okay, well, let's, uh, I think I got the right of way. So, you know what, let's, uh, okay, so I think that's where it ends. Okay, so that's where it ends, all right. So, let me flip around. So, this is still like a bike lane, but it's not the official green bike lane. So, we're just gonna flip around. All right, so there's that big monument thing. Let me see how much time. You see that big monument thing there? All right, so let's go. So they're still building out here. It seems like they're still building the the walkway situation here. It's still not complete. You see, they're doing more construction over there, more construction over there. So this is as far as uh, the bike lanes are getting right now. This is as far as the bike lanes are are up until this point. So this is where we kept on going. So we're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna turn here. All right. Oh, look, I get the right of way. I get the right of way, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then I gotta get back in the bike lane there, boom. 
All right. So, and now we're gonna head back all the way. So, so now we're heading south on Paseo Montejo. We're by the monument, okay? So we basically took, and we're gonna take it all the way down, okay? So I'll show you when we get down there as well. We're gonna, you know, take a little extended uh, past Paseo Montejo when we get there. So, let me see, I got the right of way. Yeah, so I always get the right of way. I gotta, I, gotta keep, I gotta keep remembering that. So, they just put a new Merida sign there. I think you guys can see it. Oh, there's some people on bikes, look at that. See people using a bike lane. Awesome. But you see we got the McDonald's, the Merida sign, and then over here we have the, the famous uh, monument to whatever that is. I don't know what it is. But you can find it on other YouTube videos. There's tons of other YouTubers and YouTube videos out there talking about this. I was going to eventually make one, but I never did. Anyways, that's that. Okay, so from here, we're going to take it all the way back down, all the way back down, down Paseo Montejo. All right, till we get to the end of Paseo Montejo. By the way, this Paseo Montejo keeps on going and going, and eventually, I think it becomes another street, like Prolongación de Montejo. Not quite sure. Anyways. For any locals out here, um, oh no, never mind. No, <laughs> forget it. I was gonna say we're in the wrong area. It's further down. I was gonna say a little sightseeing thing. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, you know, this is Paso Montejo in a sense. Um, this part here, um, a lot of times I never came on my own and my, you know, when I was recording. But um, yeah, this is just like the northern part after Walmart. But yeah, so like I was saying, so they're building these things all across the city, um, all over the place. I thought, I'd look, I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that the, I thought that these bike lanes were gonna keep extending northern, more. You know what I mean? From that spot, I didn't know that they ended right there. So, and look, and already, it seems like it's already kind of wearing out here. They're gonna definitely paint this green again. So, they're gonna repaint this already. That's funny not funny if you're from Mexico you know how it is out here anyway so it is what it is at least we got bike lanes they don't have to necessarily be green we just need to have bike lanes so all right so we're at Paseo Montejo okay so it seems that this is the only route the only route is through here Go, oh, 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 I gotta beat the, the red light there. All right, woo, made it. We got the horsey right here, horse parking. Hey, horsey. Um, we got the, the Starbucks, the Paseo Montejo Starbucks to your right. For anyone out there that wants Starbucks. Not a fan, not a fan. Better coffee out here. Basically every other coffee you can get out here in Mexico is better than that. Um, except for Folgers Crystals, I'll give it on that. They're better than Folgers Crystals. All right, so, um, yeah, so we got the HSBC. There's a lot of banks out here. So again, like as you guys can see, you know, the parking in front of the bank is closed, which is really weird because as a tourist, or as someone that's visiting here, sometimes you're in an Uber and you want the Uber or you're driving or whatever, and you, hey, can you stop right in front of the bank so I can go inside the ATM real quick? Um, even when you're driving, you know, when Paseo Montejo used to have all four lanes open, um, you could always park in front of the bank just to get off real quick to do something in the bank. But they eliminated that. I don't know why there's no parking in front of the bank. That is a, if someone knows, if there's someone out there that knows, no conspiracy theory, I want like the truth, you know? Um, which by the way again it could just be the bank saying please you know to the government here how much money do we got to pay for people not to park here so it could just be that but what do you guys really think why there's no parking in front of the in front of the banks that's weird right but anyways it seems like a lot of the restaurants are open it seems like either businesses stayed in business or went out of business um, but you know, things are you know popping again. There's not much traffic this afternoon for some odd reason. It's Friday, five o'clock, you know, something like that. And um, I don't see much traffic. You know, right now it should be a lot more traffic, but it is what it is. 
no big deal. I'm not complaining. I prefer it this way. And um, that's it. So we're, you know, just going down. So, I mean, this is basically it. So, I mean, in the future, in future videos, right? You know what? We're going to take this route. We're going to go around this way now. But in future videos, I will for sure, for sure. By the way, the other day when I was around here, this is where they were pushing the, the, the what you call it? The, the, the money truck, remember? That money truck that ran out of gas. Anyways, so like I was saying, um, they're building these all over Merida. So there's a lot of bike lanes, there's a lot of biking, biking areas, you know, bike friendly areas here in Merida. And I want to show you those areas uh, when I can, but you know, I'm not always around these areas. Sometimes they're far away, you know, it's like, you know, it's like an hour bike ride just to go show you a bike area. So, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. You know, right now, after I'm done with this video, I still got a bike home, tired as hell. Hopefully I still got enough. Uh, I don't got enough battery for another video. But anyways, I digress. That's not what this video is about. This video is about the bike lanes. I'm talking about bike lanes. And um, maybe this video talking about bike lanes will go viral for me because I remember Casey Neistat. I remember the video that made him go viral was talking about bike lanes. I know. Sorry. I just had to. And, okay, so what, I don't know why this is extra green in this area. I think that they're building a hotel here. Not quite sure. All right. And by the way, you know, you don't have to use the bike lanes. You know, you can be like those young ladies over there and uh, be too good for the bike lanes and, uh, you know, drive on the on where, you know what I mean, where the people are walking and uh, I guess cause an accident. You don't do the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do. By the way, so I guess that this area here has a wider bike lane. I get it now. I get it because, see, those ladies could have just been on this bike lane and we would have shared the bike lane because it would have been big. Her. In fact, they should have done that in front of the banks. I don't know why they don't do something like this in front of the banks. This would make a lot more sense. But again, government making sense. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what country you're in or what part of the world you're in. Those two are not genuinely exclusive or go together. But it is what it is. So, but I do like the bike lanes. I'm not going to lie. I do like uh, what they have here, what they've set up here. Um, it's definitely a lot safer to, to bike because I used to hate biking through here. In fact, I used to bike through the back roads of Paseo Montejo because there was a lot less traffic and um, at least a lot less traffic and safer traffic taking the back roads on your bike. But now you can, you know, now you can, you know, bike on Paseo Montejo, which is amazing. You know, this is, this is awesome. You know what I mean? In fact, you know what I mean? Like um, on Sundays, I'm going to see if I can, in, in, in the future video, I'm going to come out here on a Sunday duh, because the bike route is open again. What is the bike route? So, oh yeah, by here. Okay, so we're already getting close to the beginning of Paseo Montejo. All right, that's where we started. Um, out here, you can rent bicycles. All right. And there's other places that pop up on Sunday. Here you can rent bicycles, I think, now. But on Sunday, there's a bunch of places around here, including the place to the right, in which you can uh, rent a... Uh, wear bicycles on Sunday on Sunday all of Paseo, half of Paseo Montejo it used to be all of Paseo Montejo but now it's only half of Paseo Montejo now in, in the um, now on Sundays um, half of Paseo Montejo closes down and you can come out here um, either with your bike or you can come out here renting a bike all right and um you know from those places I just showed you or anywhere on Paseo Montejo there's a bunch of people that show up and you can ride up and down um, Paseo Montejo um, and not only in the green zones but you can do it in the middle of the road as well and um, not just that not just that but then on top of that I think we can cross right yeah, let's cross fuck it. not only that I think you can let's do it let's cross so not only not only can you so we're this is where we started guys all right so this goes a little deeper so on Sundays not only um, is the all, like Paseo Montejo open and those green, you know, the whole area open, but all this area here is open as well. Okay, all this is open. In fact, you can continue taking it down all the way through Paseo, you know, all the way through the city. So right now, we're going in its centro. Okay, we were already in its centro, but this is now, now this is its centro for reals. Okay, and so like I said, on Sundays during the day, I think it's like, I don't know what the time, I think it's like nine in the morning till one o'clock in the afternoon. 
or something like that. Um, they close half of Paseo Montejo down so you can ride your bike um, down Paseo Montejo and you can ride it down these streets in the city. All right. And so basically this road that I'm on is closed off to traffic, I think. A lot of these roads are closed off to traffic and only to bicycle traffic. So all of a sudden, you're able to bike. You're able to bike through Paseo. What is it? You're able to bike through um, yeah, Paseo Montejo and able to bike through, um, uh, what you call it, Ed Centro here. Sorry, man, it's a long day. I'm, my brain is fried. Anyways, you can you can bike through Ed Centro and you can bike through uh, Paseo Montejo, um, free of traffic on a Sunday, Sunday morning. And there's a, all the little shops are open on Sunday. There's a lot of artists that sell their art, artisanal things on Paseo Montejo. Um, a lot of breakfast, little places, a lot of cool spots. So I would highly, highly recommend it for you guys to go check it out. Because like I said, you know, it's a lot different than when you get to, you know, ride all the way to its Centro, to its Zocalo, you know, to where there's other events going on because now they've opened up all the things in its Centro again. We're gonna, we're gonna take you there real soon. But in its Centro, they've opened up again all the, you know, all the events that happen on Sunday, you know, meaning, you know, the food vendors and the, and the little, um, the artisanal touristy stuff vendors and and all the stuff that used to populate at Centro um, during Sundays after the bike ride um, is back so you know again Sunday's a great day to be out here you know as is any day of course but Sundays you know Sundays is an amazing day to go out um, wake up early you know depending on how much partying you did the night before but anyways wake up early go for a bike ride with your significant other do a bunch of little romantic stuff, you know what I mean? Um, go get some breakfast, you know, go get some whatever. Um, and then make, you know, bike ride all the way to its centro. Basically, basically almost to going down this route or a route similar to this and uh, make your way towards, uh, I'm trying to find the right street down a little further. And just try to find your way to its Sotano, which is like in the center of the city. And then there's where everything's going on and you can continue um, having fun there. So, yeah. So anyways, guys, with that being said, I think this episode's gone long enough. Um, I'm gonna end it because I think the battery's about to die. Um, and uh, that's it, you know what I mean? I'm already getting close to my other destination. In fact, before I end it, let me show you what, they, what they're doing. You know what, before I end it, let me show you real quick what they're doing here in its centro. This is um, their version of a bike lane. And um, this is not a good, this is not good. Um, this one is a little bigger and wider and more expanded, but the other ones um, deeper in the city, um, the, these, these things are too close together. And then, you know, when there's on, oncoming traffic like that, it's a little hard to maneuver. But I'm not quite sure what these things are. They, they work in some parts of it central, and other parts of it central, they don't work out. But, you know, it is what it is. See, and then, you know, as you're here, you look at that, and then there's, look, it's closed up ahead. I'm gonna make a left here, so. But as you guys can see, if I'm using this as a bike lane, look at that. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. So, it's not gonna work. So anyways, all right. With that being said, now we're out of here, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.